Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP JPY for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. This is the photo chart of GBP JPY and the last traded price is 164.33. This is the last traded price of GBP JPY. And as you can see that GBP JPY was somehow struggling to cross this particular level here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 candles of 4 hours. Okay. So GBP JPY was struggling really hard to cross the level here because we can also see on the chart that the red line which is also the 200 moving average is acting as a dynamic resistance for the market. Okay. So 200 moving average was really strong enough so it could hold GBP JPY's up move here. So but one thing that we need to focus here is that though market is unable to cross this particular resistance here okay but whenever market is coming down you can see that market is not breaking the previous lows market is forming low higher lows in the market usually higher lows in the market signify that buyers are present in the market and they are not ready to surrender and this formation this pattern in an uptrend market is called as ascending triangle pattern which is a very powerful pattern but so and here also we more or less we have an ascending triangle pattern only okay so i think that though market is struggling right now okay though market is struggling to cross this particular level right now but if the pressure continues okay then at one point the buyers will break this level and market will start going up from here okay in case market witness some correction also it will try again it will try again and at one point they should succeed okay so on monday if you find market breaking the level of 164.40 okay if you find market breaking the level of 164.40 okay then if you want then you can take a buy position you can expect a movement of at least 40 50 pips or 30 pips okay and the next selling target will be around 165.35 why selling target because 165.35 is a level from the fibonacci tool you can see this is a retracement level 61.8 percent retracement level and the same level has also witnessed price rejection from above previously so 165.35 to 165.35 Three zero is the next resistance for GBP JPY. If market breaks this particular triangle here, okay, then there's a high chance that market will face some selling here again. And if you find market reversing or struggling again around this level, you can take a sell position in this level. And the ultimate uh, resistance on this chart as of now is 166.90 to 167 level okay because of fibonacci 78.6 percent as well as we have price rejection from above so these are the resistances on the chart first of all um, the present the present resistance of 164.35 164.30 but i think market will break it if market breaks it and if you see that or if you find market breaking the resistance with good amount of volume the size of the candle is big enough you can go for a buy position okay do not expect a huge profit at least you can expect a profit of um 40 50 pips okay and then you can consider taking a sell position around 165.35 165.30 level and if market reverses from here we can take a sell position why because this level is the fibonacci 61.8 percent as well as this level has also witnessed price rejection from above previously so if we combine both the factors here there's a high chance that market will face some selling pressure and we can consider taking a sell position here and on the other hand on the other hand if market comes down if market comes down then the first support for gbp jpy will be around 163.10 this level 
102 to 163.00 because because of the trend line you can see that we have a trend line and the trend line is acting as a dynamic support for quite some time so we can expect that the trend line will provide the support again and moreover moreover we also had a minor support around this level previously so again if we combine both the static support and the dynamic support 163.10 to 163 level is the first support for gbp jpy and the second support okay when if market breaks the first support then the second support for gbp jpy will be around 161.90 to 162.00 these are the buy positions of GBP JPY. If we find market uh, bouncing from this particular levels, we can take a buy position. Keep in mind, if you see, listen to me carefully, if you find market breaking this level, do not take a sell position immediately until unless there is heavy selling because we have already witnessed price rejection around this level previously. So no need to take risk. Just wait for the right opportunity uh, for the market to hit this level if you find market reversing from the support to Go for a buy again. No need to take risk. Okay, so this is your s1 support one 163.10 163 level if market bounces well and good go for a buy if market fails No need to do anything wait for a second support. No need to take any sell position. Okay, so these are the levels for Monday Hopefully you got the point and the chart of gp jpy is a little bit complicated right now uh, if you have failed to understand then please watch the video again and in case of any doubt you can write down in the comment section and if i have missed anything then please write down i would love to learn from you okay so whatever it is okay this is my analysis i can be wrong as well so follow proper risk management please do not gamble with your hard-earned money protect your hard-earned money and capital bye bye take care see ya on monday